Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Today is Sunday, Sunday means DAX Sunday and every Sunday we bring something new for you to learn in DAX. So today we are going to discuss about all versus remove DAX functions, which are the filter functions in DAX. These are going to help you to create a lot of measures for your beautiful Power BI reports and also going to help you to make those complex calculations easy enough so that you can work on them easily. So enough all the talking, let's get started. Let's first discuss the definitions of all and remove filters. All filter is going to return you all the rows in a table or all the values in a column ignoring any filters that might have been applied. This function is useful for clearing filters and creating calculations on all the rows in a table. So many of the time you need to remove the filters from a table or from any column. So that time you can use that. Similarly, remove filters is also there, which was introduced in 2019 after the all filter in DAX. It clears filters from the specified tables or columns, but there are substantial difference between these two, which I'm gonna let you know in a while. Now let's discuss about the syntax of these two filters. As you can see on my screen, for both of the filters, syntaxes are the same accept the name of the text function so for all it starts with the all then your table name or column name and then correspondingly other columns and same for the remove filters here you have to write first the remove filters and then your table name column and then so on so this is the way that you can write the syntax for these two filter functions now we are going to talk about the parameters in both of these filters. So whenever you are working on these two filter DAX functions, then you have to always provide either the table or the column name. Table, the table that you want to clear the filters on. Similarly, the column, the column that you want to clear the filters on. So those are the parameters for both of these DAX functions. Now let's talk about the return value. So whenever we are writing a DAX to create any measures, in that case, we always expect some value to come out of that measure. So in case of all, it's gonna return you the table or the column with filters removed. However, in case of remove filters, you won't get anything. It's just gonna be there to remove the filters from that table or column, but you cannot get anything in return. Now, there are a couple of things that you should remember while working on these two DAX filter functions. The very first is that whenever you are working on all, this function is not used by itself, but serves as an intermediate function that can be used to change the set of results over which some other calculations is performed. By mean to say that, you have to always use by giving some reference like the calculate and then you have to mention your measure or your expression then you have to write this all and then you can use it however in case of remove filters remove filters can only be used to clear filters but not to return a table now for all dex filter function you should always remember that the normal behavior of dex expression containing the all function is that any filters applied will be ignored however there are some scenarios where this is not the case because of auto exist
In case of remove filters, you should always remember that this function is not supported for use in direct query mode when used in calculated column or row level security. So guys, these were the couple of things that you should remember whenever you are working on these two DAX filter functions. And now we are going to move towards demo session where I'm going to let you know how you can use this and what is exactly the difference when you are going to apply these DAX functions into your measures while creating your beautiful Power BI reports. So let's head over to the demos part. So guys, as you can see, this is my Power BI file over here. Again, over here, I'm using my AdventureWorks GW where I am using fact internet sales table as my fact table and then there are certain other dimensional tables such as dim product, customer, dim date, dim currency, dim sales territory and dim promotion. I am going to use this model to create certain measures using these two DEX functions which are going to help you to understand how you can exactly use these two DEX filter functions and also you can understand actually the difference between these two text functions. So let me come over here into my report section and here the very first is my all text function. So what I have done, I have created two measures here, total sales and total sales all. And plus you can see there are two slicers, one is for country, another is for color. If I'll drop it down, you can see all the country names are over here and in the color all the colors names are over here these two are coming from the dim product and dim sales territory table correspondingly as you can see color is coming from the dim product and country is coming from the dim sales territory now on this page i have two slicers and two cards where i have in the cards i have values of total sales and total sales all so let me show you what i have done in these two measures so if I'll go in the total sales one, in the total sales one is a very simple measure where I'm calculating just sum of the sales amount from the fact internet sales table. Nothing else and which is over here. Now the second one is using the all dex filter function. Over here what I have done, I'm using my total sales and then what I'm doing, I'm removing the filter from the dim product table and the dim sales territory table. Why I'm doing so? So that my sales is not gonna affected by these two slicers which I have over here in my reporting page. So let me show you how it actually works. So let's suppose I select a country over here which is Australia. Now you can clearly see that this total sales has been filtered out or has been sliced using my country filter. Similarly, if I'll use a value from the color slicer then it's also gonna get further sliced down but you would notice there that these two slices over here are not affecting my right hand side card it's still the same value which was originally before applying these slices on the very first card so if i'm gonna again clear it out both of these slices you will see both values are same so that's how we can apply the all dex filter function to remove any filter on our measure that we are creating over here. So if you are going to apply any of the filters, then you can easily remove them using all. So that is the first example. Now we would do some more deep dive into this one where I'm going to show you how it actually affects the other values as well so suppose a scenario where you have to calculate the percentage of the sales for example i have my some colors and based on that i want to calculate the sales of each color in terms of percentage so for that what i need i need my sales of that particular color and then after that i'm gonna need the total sales so if i'm gonna divide the sales of that color by total sales i can get its percentage so that's what I have done over here. So if you will see in my another example, the very first table over here, this is just going to use my total sales measure. So you can see I have year and then my colors which are on the top, you can see in the columns and then I have total sales. So it's going to give me just total sales 
that's perfectly all right we are not gonna do anything now in the second one what i am gonna do i'm over here using total sales but here i'm dividing it because it's the percentage of the colors so this is my color sales measure which i created over here what i'm doing over here i'm using some x it's just for the expression we can use it and if you don't know what is the difference between sum x and sum and all you can check out the other videos link are in the description section and also you can go to our youtube channel and there you can find it easily so what i'm doing over here i'm using my fact internet sales table and then i'm using sales amount from here for any particular color and then dividing by the same total sales amount however I'm not removing the filters from that. So there's a concept of context transition. So whenever I have, suppose there are the colors over here, black, blue, and any red, etc. on this table. So whenever the sales would come over here, it would automatically get filtered out based on these. And this is the reason that over here, my total sales, which is over here, it's also getting the same sales of that particular color in terms of the total sales. It's not actually the total sales. It's being filtered out based on these columns. And that's why you will see if I divide the same amount of sales by the total sales, which is equal to the same sales, then it's going to be one. And if it's one, that means in percentage, it's 100%. So basically, in another words, if I'll say this total sales at the denominator is actually the same sales of that particular color. And that's why it's coming as one or 100%. So what is the solution around that? So the solution is that we should remove those filters. That means the context transitioning we have to remove from here. And for that, what I can do, I created another measure. And in this measure, you can see clearly I'm using all on this fact internet sales table that means i'm instructing this expression over here that use this all dex filter function to remove all the filters on this table and then give me my total sales amount and that's what is happening over here you will see i'm using the measure over here which is my color sales percentage using all and here i'm getting the exactly what i'm expecting over here so guys, whenever you want to get your total sales or whenever you want to remove other filters, then you can use the all. And that's how you can use in to get your desired results. Okay, now I hope the all dex filter function is clear to you. Now we are going to move forward towards our remove filters dex function. So similarly, the two uh, cards I created previously, here I created the same and now instead of all, I am using the remove filters. And it's going to work the similar way. That means I'm removing the filter. So this filter, if I'm going to apply over here, like country or color, they are not going to affect my right hand side card. You can see no matter what I apply, it's going to remain the same. And let me show you the measure over here. This is my total sales remove filters measure that I have created over here. And here, what I'm doing, I'm using remove filters dex function on dim product and dim sales territory table. Like previously, I was using all instead of remove filters. But this is the one part. What if you will ask me that, oh, why we are not using in the previous calculation remove filters? So let's see what happens. So this is my color sales percentage using all and here I'm using all but just try yourself if you would like to use over here the remove filters whether it's gonna work or not. So let me just try over here. You would see as soon as I just try I cannot get any remove filters text function over here. So this is what I was discussing previously in the definition part that you cannot use like this. Here only you can use all, you cannot use the remove filters dex function. So these are the basically the differences and the examples that I showed you. In case you have any concerns or questions, please do let us know. I would be more than happy to resolve your queries and probably if that's gonna impact other people as well, I'm going to create a video on that.
and please guys don't forget to share your feedback subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates